Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for always checking in. Thank you for always supporting. I appreciate you guys a whole lot. Now, we are going to look at place value. We're continuing with place value. So the last time we met, we were just looking at the value of a specific digit in a number or the value of digits within a number. Now, today, we're not really going to look at the value of a digit, but we're going to look at comparing the values. So I'm going to give you two numbers with one digit being the same, and I'm going to ask you the value of which, um, how many times larger is the value of that digit in a specific number than the value of the same digit in another number. And I'm going to show you a very, very easy way in which we can compare those. We're not drawing the place value chart, so you still need your pencil and your notebook, but we're not drawing any charts today. All right, let's go. So the first one says, how many times larger... I'm going to underline that word. Let me get a different color. Is the value 6 in 98,682 than the value of 6 in 7,361? So we're looking at how many times larger is the 6 in this number, which is this 6 than the six in this number, which is this six. An easy way to do this, guys. I'm gonna take my first number and I'm writing it down. 98,680. Then I'm gonna take my second number and I'm gonna write it down on the side. So 7,361. Now I'm gonna identify the digits that they want me to compare. They want me to compare the value of the six. So here's the six in this one, and here's the six in this one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write my six. I'm gonna ignore all other numbers, If digits, sorry. If you remember when we were looking at place value and they said, what is the value of the three in this number? We only found the value of the three. We weren't finding the value of every single digit. So now we're only comparing the value of the six. So we're not looking at the eight, the two, the nine, or, or the other eight there. We're only looking at the six. So I'm going to write the six down. And everything to the right of the six, I'm going to turn them to zeros because it's going to help me to know that the value of this 6 is 600. Then I'm doing the same with my next um, number. So I'm writing down my 6, and everything to the right of the 6 becomes 0. So the value of this 6 is 60. 6 tens, 60. So what I'm going to do next I'm writing my 600 again, and then I am going to write my 60 immediately underneath it. So six, zero. Now I am going to cancel matching zeros. So in this case, I have two zeros at the top and only one zero at the bottom. So I'm gonna take out one zero and one zero. I have another zero at the top, but I don't have another zero at the bottom, so I cannot cancel. I only can cancel matching zeros. So right now, only one zero is left. There's not a matching zero at the bottom, so I can't cancel. What I'm going to do is underline that zero. Now, if you remember when we did place value as well, we spoke about how many zeros are in the power of tens. The power of tens are 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000. So remember, 10 has one zero. 100 has two zeros. 1,000 has three zeros. And if we continue, 10,000 has four zeros. So right now I'm left with 
one zero. So I'm looking at my power of 10 with only one zero. That is 10. It means that the six in this number is 10 times greater than the six in this number. Take a look at it and try to grasp it. So all I did, I copied the two numbers. I wrote them down. Then I took the six, write it down. Everything in front of it becomes zero. I'm not looking at these two. Remember, I'm not finding the value of every single digit, just the six. When I turn this to zero, it helps me to see that the value of this six is six hundreds. And then when I come to this one, I do the same, right? My six, this comes zero. This is now 60. The value is six tenths or 60. So then I'm going to put them on top of each other. Cancel the matching zeros. I'm only looking at the zeros to help me with my answer. So if one zero is left, it means that my answer is 10 times. If we have two zeros left, your answer is 100 times. If we have three zeros, it's 1,000 times greater. Let's try another one. So I'm going to change this to five. And I'm going to change my digits. I'm just going to put a five in this one. And I'm going to put a five in this one right there. Change it to five. All right. So now I have how many times larger is the value of value five in 95,682 than the value six. Sorry, this is five as well. The value of the five in 7,561. I'm going to take this out so I have space to work. So let's go. First step. Write your first number down. Bigger one, 95,682. Next, write the other number on the other side, 7,561. Then I am going to identify the digit that they want me to compare. They're asking me to compare the fives. So, I'm going to write this five. Remember, I'm not touching this nine. I don't care about that nine right now. I don't need the value of that. Everything to the right becomes zero. Zero. I draw the arrows so I make sure I put the correct amount of zeros. And I'm going to do the same with this. So I'm writing my five. This becomes zero. The one becomes zero. So here I have 5,000 and 500. Now they want to know how many times greater is this five than this five. Let's see. I'm going to write my 5,000 again. I could use this one, but I like to rewrite it. And I'm going to write my 500 underneath it. Then I'm going to cancel matching zeros. So I'm taking out this one with this one. That's one pair. I'm taking out this one with this one. That's two sets. Now I still have one here, but there's no more down here. So I'm looking at my zero to tell me how many times. Remember, if it's one zero, it is my power of 10 with only one zero, which is 10. So again, my answer is 10. All right. We're going to look at another one. I'm going to change the digit. Again, so this time I'm going to say the value of the 9. So I'm keeping that number, 95,682, and this time I'm changing this 6 to 9. So th this time this is 7,591. Let's see how many times greater those nines are. So again, step one, pay attention to this one. The next one is on you. I'm writing 95,682 and I'm writing 7,591. If you're asking, where did I get those numbers? 
this number here, this number here. I'm focusing this time on my nine. So here's the nine, here's the nine. So I'm writing my nine. Everything to the right becomes zero. So five comes to zero. Six turns to zero. Eight turns to zero. And two turns to zero. So I have 90,000. Then I'm coming here, not looking at seven and five. I'm looking at the nine. Write the nine and then one turns to zero. Now, what I'm gonna do next is rewrite my two numbers with the zeros, 90,000, and I'm writing 90 immediately under 90,000. Then I'm canceling matching zeros. So one zero, one zero. I have three zeros left at the top. There's no more at the bottom for me to cancel. It means I'm gonna count how many zeros I have left, one, two, Three, I have three zeros left. Which of my power of tens, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, has three zeros? It is 1,000. It means that my, the nine in 90,000 is 1,000 times greater than the nine in 90. So 1,000 times greater. All right? Now, I could have used the place value chart and put the numbers on the chart and draw arrows and check to see which one is greater, but I think that this is the easiest way to do it. All right, so I am gonna change my numbers now. I'm leaving the example there so you can try, and then I'm gonna see if you get the correct answer. So let me change these numbers. Make sure you have your pencils. We're looking at the value of the two, the value of the two in 42,687 and 4,320, oops, eight. So 42,687, 4,328. How many times larger is the value two in this number than the value two in this number? Go ahead. So step one, copy your first number. Step two, copy your second number. Go ahead, do that. Step three, look for the digit. It's the two this time, so you're starting with the two and then put the zeros for the rest. Same thing over here, look for your two, write it down, put zeros. Put them above each other with the zeros and cancel them. See what you get. See what you get, guys, quickly. Okay, if you're not done, you can pause the video. Let me put the answer here. So pause the video if you're not done and finish it up and then See if your answer is correct. So it's 42,687 and 4,328. And we're looking for the two. So I'm underlining two there. I'm underlining two there. Now I'm going to write this two and everything else turn to zero, turn to zero, turn to zero. Then I'm writing this two and everything else turned to zero. Then I'm putting them over each other and 20. I'm canceling matching zeros. So one zero, one zero. There's no more zero at the bottom for me to cancel. So I'm gonna count. How many zeros do I have left? Two, which power of 10 has two zeros? 100. So it means that the two in 2000 is 100 times greater than the two in 20. Ha! Huh. Let's try one last one. If you didn't get it, it's okay. I bet you're gonna get this one. If you got it, good job. Make sure you get this one too. So how many times larger 
is the seven in six thousand three hundred twenty seven to one seven to one than the seven in twenty seven go ahead I'm not walking you through this one look at the example how many times larger is the value 7 in 6,371 than the value of the 7 in 27? Go ahead. All right, again, pause the video if you're not done. Pause the video and finish up if you're not done. Let's see what's the correct answer. So again, I'm copying 6,371. And I'm copying 27. I'm focusing on 7, so I'm writing my 7, and then this becomes 0. I'm writing my 7, there's nothing to change there, so there's no 0. So now I'm going to put 70 and 7. Normally, we would cancel the matching 0, but what do you notice? There's no 0 there to cancel. There's a zero at the top, none at the bottom. So I'm looking, how many zero do I have up here? Only one. Which power of 10 has one zero? It's 10. It means that seven, the seven in 70 is 10 times greater than the seven in seven. That's it, guys. So all you're doing, count how many zeros you have left, match it with your zeros up here, and you'll see which power of 10 is your answer thanks again guys for tuning in don't forget like share subscribe and hit your notification bell thank you